This is the Fantasy Road Show. You mentioned ch chicken wings. I heard you uh, earlier say that, uh, ask if a player uses ranch. So you're fully on the blue cheese train, right? I mean, ranch dressing belongs in salads. Ranch <laughs> dressing belongs with lettuce, cucumber. My perfect salad is lettuce, <laughs> uh, ranch dressing. I like ranch, honey, mustard. I like a lot of dressings, but ranch dressing is a topic here at hand, by the way. And if you want me to power rank my wings in Buffalo, I can do that too. It's yeah. lettuce, ranch, carrots, croutons, cucumbers, ranch. Blue cheese is elite. And people who hate blue cheese, I, my wife hates it, for example. She makes fun of me because I'm a picky eater. I don't think I'm a picky eater. Just because I don't like lettuce, uh, just because I don't like tomato, onion, mushroom, doesn't mean I'm a picky eater. I love broccoli. I love beans. I like zucchini, squash. And I love blue cheese. You want to call it mold? Call it mold all you want. It is mold. Give me wings, blue cheese, ranch. No. End of debate. No. I know a lot of people who eat ranch with wings. Eat what you eat. Like what you like. Not for me. Give me wings. Give me blue cheese. It's literally synonymous. They're synonymous with one another. Come on. Yeah. Um, I actually do want you to rank the best wings in Buffalo. All right. I'm glad I prepped for the show. Um, yeah. For anything. <laughs> Um, now keep in mind, this is, you got to keep in mind that you can only power rank things. Like we were talking about central New York food places, right? With Dino and Tully's. I don't think it can rank anything if you haven't tried it. Right. The other thing is when you rank foods, you can't just say, well, I'm going to do this pizza place over another. And one place you had cheese and the other one, you had pepperoni. You could be a, a pizza connoisseur, but you had two different slices. How can you possibly judge it? I, I feel like you have to have the same, you can have. You can try everything, but you got to have the same at some point at all of them, right? So you can compare it. How can you compare a normal wing to a hot wing or a garlic parm to a, a gold fever or a, 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 a teriyaki or whatever? So I'm a huge, I know this sounds stupid. I'm a huge, just regular mild chicken wing guy. And I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. Just a chicken wing. I don't need hot. I don't need barbecue. I'll eat them, but I don't need them. I love just plain chicken wings. Number one is bar bill. It used to be... It used to be Gabriel's Gate for a long time. They came back a little bit. I went to Gabriel's Gate with my cousin after we played golf a couple springs ago, and we went to a Saber game. Saw McDavid, by the way, in the suites. Bar bills out of this world, number one. Number two, still firmly there is Gabriel's Gate, but I haven't had him in a while since the Frozen Four in Buffalo a few years back. Number three, the most underrated chicken wing I've ever had in my entire life, Elmo's. Ridiculous. And Great price. You can always get in there, sit down, and get the wings right away. Bang. Now, the the last two, the fourth one, I got to go with Swanee House, which is used to be downtown Buffalo by the arena, but I don't even think they're there anymore. I would go Swanee House for really, really good wing. Um, and then five, you know, I have not had – I have not had the 911 Tavern or whatever it's called that Tyler Dunn goes nuts over. And I haven't had wing nuts, which wing Ryan nuts. Talbot and, and Matt Perino and Allen and the guys go in with the Bills. They say those are unreal. I haven't had those two, so I can't put them in there. Bills fans are going to watch this and start you know, throwing daggers at me. I'm going to get social media. Oh, can you? I haven't had them, so I can't say that they're in my top five. I'm going to have them, and when I have them, I'm going to redo my power rankings because I'm sure they're going to be in there. I got to tell you, I'm going anchor bar number five. I like Anchor Bar's wins. I think they're pretty good. Cobblestone around the arena. I don't know if they're still there, but I kind of have them as the outsider looking into the top five. But you can't judge anything unless you've had them, and that's my top five right now. But I want to have those two places. Also, underrated wing place in Olean, Allegheny area by Bonaventure, Randy's on the River. Great chicken wings as well. Love it. Um, truck, taking notes. <laughs> 100 percent i yeah. am starving right now um I, I when i was traveling through buffalo wing nuts was the place that i was told uh i did not stop there it was a bit off uh, my my route but uh i that was one that i i really wish i would have stopped at but um yeah i i i think i need to go to buffalo soon because uh i i haven't had some good wings in a while so but judging by your reaction um you may be putting ranch on your wing Oh, 100%. I completely disagree with you on the, both, <laughs> the blue cheese. Blue cheese is, is garbage. Get it out of here. I ranch over everything. I put ranch on a lot of stuff, uh, I, stuff I don't want to admit uh, on this podcast. But, yeah, I, it's, I, I don't know if it's a Midwest thing or what, but 
uh, ranch is elite. And uh, you can't convince me otherwise. You never know. Your taste buds can change through the years. When I was a kid, I screwed up. I did. When I was little, I put ketchup on hot dogs. And now you couldn't pay me enough to put a ketchup on a hot dog. I put yeah, brown mustard on everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's you know, the way to go. Hard grease. You know, that Midwestern thing, you know, the brown mustard is where it's at. I had brats in Milwaukee uh, at a Brewers playoff game. You know, you got to put hot – you got to be the brown mustard on the brats, on the conies, on, on hot dogs across the board. Your taste buds will change when you eventually get to be old like me. Trust me, trucker. It'll happen. Okay, the blue truck. I'll, I'll take I'll take your word for it. All right. Truck, tell me you are not one of those that dips your pizza in ranch. Oh, I absolutely. Every time I eat oh, pizza, I am drizzling ranch all yeah. over the entire pizza. He eats oh, ranch with honey nut Cheerios, from what it sounds like. I mean, oh. I just I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens on a drunken night. I come home. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. Well, take my cell because I want to get that drunken call when it happens. 